Are you working on a certification or studying for an exam, but you are struggling with the lack of concentration? Yo, how'd you know I was dealing with that, fam? Hey, what's good, YouTube? So I received a question from Tyrone J. Nas on Twitter. He's currently working on his CCDA and his CWNA. If you all don't know, that is your Cisco Certified Design Associate Certification and your Certified Wireless Networking Administrator. Both of those certifications, I will have information on them in the description, along with some training materials to help you get those certifications if you're out there looking for them. But anyway, currently, Tyrone is working on those certifications, but he's struggling with a lack of of concentration he can't stay focused yo shout out to you tyrone that was a great question and i'm gonna get to this list real soon if you all have questions let me know in the comment section below of this video and i'm gonna do my best to start answering each and every question i pretty much get for the most part we're gonna see how much i can get through this summer but this summer it's all about you so with that being said in my life i have struggled with the lack of concentration often especially when studying for certification now you all know that i represent lab every day but lab in every day is a totally different mindset than when you're in full on certification mode that's a totally different ball game in this video my goal is to give you 10 tips that will help you overcome the lack of concentration when you're studying for those certification exams the first thing you want to do and number one on the list is establish your goal in tyrone's situation he's working on the ccda and the cwna working on two certifications at the same time is not a good idea some people may be able to do it but at the same time those are in two different realms now granted the ccda will talk about wireless design but the, the he, here's the thing they're both from two different vendors that's so it's, it's really tough to do the information can be can cross over but you really need to hone in your focus and find one goal and let that be your goal so if it's the ccda okay now ccda let's go to cisco learning network print out those exam topics and that's what we're going to focus on number two on the list once you establish your goal now what i recommend you do is establish your why why do you want to achieve your desired certification is it to provide a better life for your family get more money get that bag is it to get that tesla like i want <laughs> or is it just because you want to have some more letters behind your name establish your why it's very important to use that why as a driving force which leads us to our next topic which is number three create a vision board and when i say a vision board you're going to take your goal so for tyrone it's the ccda we're going to take that goal take a vision board if you don't know anything about a vision board i'll have a link up here that talks about vision boards that you can check out but we're going to take a vision board and we're going to take the ccda and put it right in the middle once we have it in the middle we're going to take our why if it's your family cut out pictures of your family put it all around your goal on your vision board if it's that bag <laughs> put that bag all around your goal on your vision board and once you do that now we're going to put that vision board somewhere we can see it every day so that way when you are focused on that goal if you are not focused and you see your why it will drive you right back to your goal that's number three on the list create a vision board now you don't necessarily have to create a vision board you can take your why and put it in places you can see whether it's a sticky note on your desk at work i don't i, I don't know what you want to do but whatever you do use that why to drive you to accomplish that goal number four on the list I highly recommend if you're working on something like a Cisco certification that you join the Cisco Learning Network. And another option is join the Lab Every Day Slack group. If you all are interested in joining the Lab Every Day Slack group, let me know and I will hook you up with a link to join the community. But what I mean by joining the Cisco Learning Network or joining the Lab Every Day Slack group is surround yourself by individuals that will help you and motivate you to achieve your desired goals like-minded individuals 
it's very important that you do not be around people that's going to discourage you and bring you down when you're in certification mode you really have to protect your mind and stay on point and it helps when you got the right people behind you so again join a group that's going to help and motivate you that group could be even be at your job if there's people on your team that are looking for certifications and striving to improve their careers surround yourself with them team up with them partner with them whatever you want to call it build yourself the right community and achieve your goal number five on the list evaluate your plan to achieve your goal now what's your plan i'll wait yeah evaluate that let's say you got the ccna in 30 days book but you have no ccna experience that's tough to do so you may want to really look at that plan and and make it create make it a little more feasible for the certification that you're trying to achieve sometimes it's hard to eat an elephant in one bite so i highly recommend that you evaluate that plan and really be able to obtain the knowledge and be able to replay the knowledge and in interview and then ultimately be able to perform the knowledge on the job number six on the list is your diet family 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 i love snack cakes i love ice cream i love all that but in certification mode trust me all that is not on my plate we got to eat brain food. You have to eat a healthy, balanced diet that's going to stimulate learning and activate you and motivate you to achieve your goal. So brain food is what I suggest. And I'll have a link down in the description on some healthy snacks and some healthy alternatives that will help you achieve your desired goal. Number seven on the list is a question. Are you studying at any effective times during the day? Now, when we were all in school, grade school, if you're from America, you know, pretty much typically you go to school from 8 to 4 or 3.30 p.m. Somewhere along those lines, we all go to school at the same time. Now, if you remember being in class, some people come to school and they're highly motivated. Some people burn out during, by lunch, but other people come back from lunch and they're fired up. And then you got those people that are ready to party as soon as the bell rings. Which one are you? That's what you're really going to have to experiment and find out. What time of the day is your mind most active and most alert and most available to receive new information? That could be in the morning. I know for me, I'm going to wake up early and get it. You know, by 10 o'clock, not so much. You know, by the end of the day, I may have a little bit more in me. But in the morning, I'm ready to get it. So you really have to evaluate what time of the day you're going to be most effective and most alert to receive new information. Number eight, are you using the correct resources? Now, have you ever purchased a book or a certification book? It could be a book in school and the information was just so dry. You read the pages five times and never receive any information, never retain any information that you read. Now, the same applies to certifications. Sometimes you can get OCG books. Now, official cert certification guides for multiple vendors, not just Cisco. But sometimes the way those books may be written may not be conducive and in line with your learning style. So what I recommend, like for me, I, there's the CCNA um, books that are OCG. But then you also have books by like Ty Lamley. I'll have a link for both of those in the description. For me... When I started, those CG books were hard to read, but I got Ty Lamley's book and his writing style was totally different, easy to follow. But what I found was the information was not as in depth as the LCG books. But at the time for me learning, it helped me get a beginner's level knowledge to be ready for the CCNA. Then I went to the OCG information and was able to receive it because Ty Lamley helped explain it at the most basic level. Same applies to videos. Sometimes you may be watching somebody that's dry and other times you may watch it in somebody that's totally fun to, to watch and follow like a Jeremy Chor or a CBT Nuggets. I mean, watching that guy, I could watch him for days because he's one of the best to do it. So with that being said, there may be people out there that don't like Jeremy. I don't know how, I don't know why, but there could be guys like, or there could be people out there like that, but we won't talk about them. Shout out to Jeremy. Anyway, find what resources work for you. Number nine on the list, 
No multitasking, family. Take the phone. Turn it off. Put it in another room. Lock it up. Turn the TV off. Throw away the remote. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, limit those distractions. Do not fall for the traps. If you're focused on certifications, limit all distractions. Talk to your family. Talk to your wife. Talk to your kids. Get everybody on board. Say, hey, spouse, um, I got a goal that I want to accomplish and I need everybody on board for me to accomplish this. There are going to be certain times of the day where I'm going to be studying and I would like no one to bother me. Let them know and say, hey, once we're once we're done, kids, <laughs> once I get the certification, we can go get ice cream. And they're going to say, yay. <laughs> and then it's going to be all good. You know, take your spouse out, take him or her out to get that bag that they want, them J's that they want, whatever that they want. Once you get that certification, everybody's happy. It's good. But get the team on board. Teamwork make the dream work. Feel me? But if you don't have a family, I understand. Limit the distractions. Girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you have, whatever distractions that you may have, limit those. Put them on timeout. Another thing about multitasking, and I'm going to throw this in there with the limit distractions, is find an area in your house or library or Starbucks where you are able to learn the most. For instance, when I'm in my garage, it's kind of hard. For me to learn sometime because there are no windows it gets extremely hot and i just get extremely frustrated and i just come out looking like a zombie just because i've been in a dark cave all day so i have to go maybe to starbucks or sometimes i'm in my bathroom that may sound weird but some of my best st study sessions have been on the john wait wait too much information that's no multitasking and limited distractions another one more thing one more one more thing i'm sorry to hold you up but when we talk about no multitasking limited distractions find a room where um you're able to learn the most the, learn the best with the feng shui and all that stuff i have to mention with labbing every day you know one of the problems that i have is i find myself in rabbit holes <laughs> meaning that let's say i'm i'm working on learning um my ccna security like i am now well one of the areas in there deals with cisco ice so if i'm working on cisco ice then i'm also working on active directory and if i'm working on active directory now i'm dealing with 802.1x and i'm in my switches and i'm setting up accounts and i'm dealing with radius or attack x or whatever i may be doing but i'm just dig, digging, digging a bigger rabbit hole to where I'm no longer studying the exam topics and time is just being wasted. So make sure you're following those exam topics. Seriously, don't fall for the rabbit holes. Stay on point, stay on track, find a good study session, a good study plan and stick to that. Last on the list, number 10 on the list, take a break. Now, when I say take a break, I mean... You just may be going too hard, fam. You just may be grinding your gears to the wall. <laughs> now, you may have your certification next week, and sometimes we got to do that. I perform best under pressure, but sometimes you got to take a step back. And also, if you are early into your study plan, I recommend setting timers. They got something you call the Pomodoro Method. Um, Network Chuck, I have a link up here. He talks about the Pomodoro method. Check his video out. It's something he uses. And a lot of people, they say it really works. So check that out. See if it works for you. I've never really used it. But hey, maybe I will apply it so I can stop following, them rabbit, following for those rabbit holes. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this list. And I hope it helps you, Tyrone, to beat that lack of concentration i thank you all for your support i hope you enjoyed this video if it did help you hit that like button share it out to a friend subscribe to the channel live every day shirts on deck and i appreciate y'all support and i will catch you all on the next one peace